welcome to my kitchen. Today I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. I want to discuss, <clears throat> I want to update you a little bit and clarify a few things about the mixer situation. And then I want to ask you all for a favor. We're, uh, since I haven't done a chat and channel update, I thought that we're going to go ahead and take this opportunity today and just do a quick one. As far as the mixer, I wanted to make a clarification. Um, I perhaps didn't uh, elaborate or express myself very clearly. Um, Websterant store is where I bought the mixer from. When I initially contacted them on that Sunday morning, they had assumed the person that I was, the only way, let me back up, the only way you can communicate with them on a weekend is through their online chat. So I think that there may have been a few things that were confusing, maybe lost in translation during the chat. I was already upset. Um, so that's a note to self and a note to all of you out there. If you are upset about something, you probably shouldn't call anybody right away. You should probably simmer down a little. I am really guilty of that most of the time. Because I go off half-cocked a lot. And uh, then I have to apologize a lot for what I've done. Um, so Webstron Store is very gracious. They thought that I had used it to prepare food in, but I had not. I had only opened it up and turned it on, and it didn't work. I tried to turn it on. But they agreed that I could return the mixer for a full refund, and they sent me a label, and that has already been shipped back off to them. So in a couple of days, they'll have it, and I'll have my refund and I'm making different considerations now. Um, I'm really, really, really leaning toward a Bosch Ultimate Kitchen Mixer. Um, but we'll see. I'm having a really hard time making a choice. There are a lot of mixers on the market. There are a lot of mixers that I don't know if I'm going to like. And I don't want to know if I want to invest all of that money into something only to find out I hate it. Um, so... I know that this should not be as confusing or as difficult as it might sound, but it is. It's a big investment. It is a big investment. It's a tool that I hopefully intend to use for a number of years. But on the other side of that, I also want to make a good choice that I can present to you guys. So I'm reading, I'm doing a lot of research. I'm reading a lot of reviews because really the bottom line here for me is when I look at the reviews on different uh, outlets that sell these things, you know that the sad part is it could have 8,000 really great five-star reviews, but it can have two one-star reviews that are really concerning. And <clears throat> all those things have to be weighed and those options have to be considered. So, initially, before I even decided to go ahead and give KitchenAid a second chance with this commercial version, I was leaning toward the Bosch. And in a moment of weakness, I decided to give the KitchenAid another chance, and we all see how that turned out. I probably should have gone with my gut the first time, so I may just go ahead and invest in the Bosch and maybe have a little fun with it and see where we go with that. My yellow mixer is still completely useful, and, you know, no matter what happens, I still have that for a little while. I'm pretty sure that Rick can keep it going, um, barring any completely irreparable damage. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure that that is what it is. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to. I can't make eight loaves worth of bread in that mixer, no matter what they say on their demonstration. But in any case, that was the update I wanted to give you on the mixer situation. Uh, it's gone back. I'm getting a full refund. Webster on store should not be faulted. I don't want any of you to think that I have a beef with them because I don't. I've been dealing with them for a number of years, and they've always provided me with excellent service. I had ordered something from them um, the beginning of this year, and they sent me the completely wrong item. Um, I, had, I had done an order where I had ordered... 20 pack of foil pans because I order my foil pans from them and I also had ordered a, a rack to go on my metal shelves that would house baking sheets so you can just slide a baking sheet in and it holds 10 or 12 baking sheets well instead of the rack I got some weird extension for the shelves and I had no use for it 
They told me to keep it. They sent me the item that I initially ordered and paid for. And the foil pans, they sent me an entire case that I only paid for 20 and they allowed me to keep the entire case with their compliments. So, you know, you, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. They made it right. And as a bonus, I got more pans than I paid for. So that's usually the first place I go if I need to buy anything in bulk as far as like cupcake liners or foil pans or, you know, different things. They also have some great grocery items. And this is not an advertisement for Webstaurant Store. It has not been solicited. Because I know there might be some people out there who will say that, um, but it is not. I just want to make very clear that you should not be harboring any ill will toward them because they did nothing wrong. They have policies in place that they have to abide by. The folks that are running the phones on the weekends or the chat, look, they're not the owners. I have you know, been contacted by people who are in charge there who have profusely apologized for what happened. And not only that, I was told yesterday that the mixer that I sent back is going to be set aside and it's going to be discussed with their KitchenAid representative when they visit in a couple of weeks. So, I just want to clear that up. I will keep you updated as to what happens, but Webstaurant Store should not be faulted at all here. They're on just the place I bought it from, and in the end, the confusion was cleared up and the fog lifted, and everything is working out the way it should. Um, however, for those of you who say I shouldn't badmouth KitchenAid, that you, if you like KitchenAid, that's great. I personally am done with them, and you, you, it's fine if you don't agree with me. I have no problem with that. But I'm allowed to say I'm never buying another piece of crap KitchenAid again because of my experience. And if you've had a different experience, I think that's wonderful. And I think that you should do whatever it is that is best for you. So, all that being said, I also wanted to say the Garden Channel is now going to go, because we're in the winter now, I'm going to go to an every other week upload over there. And so last week we did an upload of the Final Harvest. But yesterday, I'm just going to pull this in front of the camera. Yesterday I went out and I picked these. Um, there's about 10 pounds of green tomatoes here. Yeah. We were expecting our first freeze. We were. And you can see here, we actually did get a little frosty. You see there's some, there's some weirdness on there, but that's all right. Um, I'm going to make some mincemeat with that. So that'll be something fun that we can do together. I'll definitely be sharing that with you. Um, so every other week, so this week we won't have a garden update or a garden upload. Next week we will because Rick is actually putting together our greenhouse situation sometime this week because um, I have some things that absolutely have to get in there. Um, <clears throat> and then for those of you who happen to see my slow cooked sweet orange chicken that I did last week, I actually did a very short version of that recipe and I uploaded as a as a contest submission to the ultimate Crockstar contest over on crockstars.com. So I would so very much appreciate it if you would go and vote for me. You can vote every day between now and November 9th. And if you follow me on Facebook, I put up daily reminders. So that's pretty much the update for this week. I am busy, busy, busy working on Thanksgiving programming for you. Today I'm working on a couple of recipes we'll be filming. I actually did a few last week and more and more will be coming. Uh, you will be starting to see more daily uploads, not just every other day and not just Monday, Wednesday, Friday because Thanksgiving is only a few weeks away and in order to get you all prepared and share what I have to share with you, I'm going to have to do that well in advance of the holiday itself so you will have something to reference. So I hope that you'll join me every day and I hope that you'll comment, I hope that you'll rate the video and I hope that you'll subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you're new here today and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. So share this with your friends on your social media and I hope that you enjoyed what you heard, uh, leave me a comment down below. If there's something you want to see me make for Thanksgiving that I haven't made before, please let me know so I can put it on the list. And until next time, I'll see ya.